Well, I'm going to make some adjustments to this layout. I did find a problematic issue when it comes to handpicking my components, and that is that the conveyor belts coming out from the smart splitter into the storage container is in the way. So that means I would have to jump over all of the conveyor belts to grab some of the components I'm looking for. And ah, uh, that's just a uh, really inefficient so what I'm going to do is make a adjustment here and I'm thinking, mm, let's zoop this out here. And what I'm thinking is what if, actually I should probably go back a couple tiles. Like this. So if I copy this, I'm thinking about doing something like that all right so this is what i'm thinking uh-oh it's not centered we got to make sure this is centered yeah like that and then we can head over to the customizer grab the full factory floor and we could just paint it out like this as far as we can go and then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to delete these. Yep, like that. Okay, let's jump down and take a look at what I'm thinking about. So, as you can see, I can easily walk between these containers and grab my components from here. That means I need to head over here, copy this, and begin pasting these down on all of these storage containers like that all right and then from here i'm gonna have to manually hit Control c on this to copy the settings and then Control v to paste it like that Control c and oops Control V like that. All right. Uh, so that is kind of what I'm looking for. And if I smack down some of these containers to illustrate what this is going to look like. All right, and then if we kind of clear some of these industrial rails out of the way. That's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. And if, uh, yeah, so if we walk through, we can just come through here, grab this, boom. Boom. And, and we're ready to go. Uh, if I want to take this further, I could head over to the architecture tab and grab... Uh, the catwalk and maybe i can do something like this yeah and so i can walk on the catwalk and i can grab this i can grab that i can look up at the sign and see what i need that looks good uh could i even do a no this is not a good idea because this is not going to match the foundation. Um, I don't know. I don't think we would really need the catwalks here. But we could stick them in the center like this. And maybe if we head up here, we can take a look at what that may look like. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I need it. I think it's just a waste of more resources. But we can go with this setup here. And I think this is going to work out really well. So I want to make this adjustment and then I will see you on the other side. Welcome back, everybody. Let's take a look at what I have completed here. And would you look at that? I did end up using the catwalks. 
I made it work out and I like the way it looks. So I'm going to jump down here and uh, let's take a peek here. So we have all our labels here. We got the plates, rods, screws, wires, cables, copper sheets, um, uh, concrete, industrial cased, uh, steel pipes, beams. Uh, yeah, we, we have everything all over here. Uh, we also have the plastic, rubber, circuit boards, computers, quick wire, silica, not sure the name of that, and uh, turbo fuel. And we got plenty more storage containers to bring over any future components that we may encounter or maybe some that I may have missed here. But uh, yeah, that is the start of the hub. I will say it is complete to my liking and I did belt this underground. So this is running underground and then it's connected up to this splitter and then underground and it goes right over here. And yeah, all the products, a sushi belt will be this guy right here. And then we'll offload it into a awesome sink, maybe somewhere over here. Uh, so yeah, this, this looks really good. And uh, I did shorten up the foundation here to the factory. Uh, so it's a lot shorter. We do have floating tracks. I'm going to leave it like that. There's really no way going around this. Uh, I'm fine with that. I'm just happy that I got a start to the hub here. And it looks great. Uh, very, very nice. And we can continue to expand the hub. Uh, we could do another row out here as well. And if we do run, over, uh, run out of uh, space, we can go vertical. But I don't foresee that. This hub should be enough to last me through the playthrough. But I could be wrong. We shall see. Uh, so the last part to this hub is routing all of the trains over here, grabbing all of those components, visiting every single train station, make sure it picks up uh, the components and um, not picking up any components that I don't want it to pick up. So, you know, that's going to take me a few hours to get set up here. You know, I also thought maybe about doing some kind of... Um, uh architecture or is it transport um i'm thinking about doing some kind of lights some kind of lights i really want to do some lights uh where are the lamps probably under power right where are the lamps not special transport nope Boy. I'm not sure where the lamps are. Oh, under organization. Got it. Okay. So we could do like do some street lights. I'm thinking. Maybe we illuminate this area with uh, some lamps. Maybe we can play some, like, I don't know. Um, we got an autosave here. So what if we, like, placed them in the center here? Like that? So let's place one there. We haven't used any lights in this game yet, and I haven't had a reason to do it um, for functionality. But this would be a good way to illuminate the signs. Maybe they will be illuminated in the dark. So maybe we actually don't need these. Uh, we, we, we could leave those for aesthetics. 
or I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, but I'm going to focus on routing all of the components over here. So I'm going to take care of that right away. And then I'll see you guys when it's complete. Welcome back, everybody. The hub is finally completed. I have all of the trains routed in here. And everything is looking good. As you can see, we have the plates, rods, and screws. Those are all filled up and ready to go. Uh, look, some quick wire. If we jump down here, we could take a look at all of the products we have. So, wow, we can go do some shopping. Uh, iron plates. Uh, we got some rods, screws, wire, cable, copper sheets, yep, and concrete, uh, industrial uh, encased uh, frames, uh, what is this, uh, steel frames, steel beams, uh, steel pipes, reinforced iron plates, rotors, uh, we do have a full bin of modular frames and now we're carting over the heavy modular frames over here. We got some motors, uh, plastic, rubber. Ooh, we even got some circuit boards here now. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, no computers. Uh, probably a bunch of quick wire. Really nice. And yeah, silica in this product, we definitely need to automate. And then we have a bunch of room for future prod, um, product uh, that we may encounter. And those are going to go in here. And if we really need to, we can expand further out here. Uh, so yeah, guys, it is all done. The trains are routed. Everything is being stored up. Here are some of the more prob problematic issues. Uh, and that is that all of our components that are being shipped over here are the majority of them are on a first freight car here. And so they're all being offloaded to this uh, freight station here. And as you can see, we can only hold so much. And so we, we just don't have a belt fast enough to offload all of this. So things are going to take a while to, to, to back up. I also routed another conveyor belt from the top here to this freight station to help uh, relieve this freight station, the first one, and start storing it into the second one. And as you can see, this one's all backed up. So this is a very highly inefficient system here. And uh, yeah hindsight i would have done things a bit different uh but that is the nature of a first time playthrough uh yeah and then like i said it all comes to a junction point right here at the splitter um we need a faster conveyor belt you know something that can offload this a whole lot quicker uh what else Lastly, all of the trains are going to begin backing up once I cut the power off from the awesome sink. Uh, why would I do that? Well, once the storage containers are all full, then I'm going to cut the power off so that I put an end to demanding all of my products over here because a lot of this product, we need to automate uh, more advanced components. And I can't do that right now because... They're, they're being offloaded here at the hub. So, yeah, it is slightly a logistics uh, nightmare that I'm not too happy with. <laughs> um, the best thing would, would to belt everything over here, but oh my goodness, that's just impossible with all of the micro factories I have scattered across the map. That would just take way too long. So uh, the train is the way to go here. So guys, that uh, completes the hub. It is done, and now we can move on to the next task.
Welcome back, everybody. I have finally tapped all of the geothermal vents on the map. Let's take a look at our power grid and see how that affected it. All right, so I started out with roughly 6,500 megawatts of power, and we are now floating around 8,800. I've actually seen it fluctuate up to 10,000 megawatts uh, for a brief moment. The geothermal generators are not a constant source of power. It does fluctuate. So if we take a look at the geothermal, you can see this one can produce up to 300 megawatts, which it looks like it's about to reach. And then once it reaches 300, it then will push right back down. So yeah, it fluctuates and it's not the most reliable source. Uh, but at least we've, you know, got uh, 2000 more, a little bit more than 2000 megawatts of power to the grid. And that's going to allow me to uh i don't know go into aluminum wow guys yeah it's been a while since we've uh went deeper into the tech tree and i think it's time to do that and we're gonna start with the aluminum so i think in the next episode which is going to be saturday's live stream we'll dive deep into aluminum for the very first time with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. It really helps promote my YouTube channel. With that said, you guys have a wonderful day there, and we'll see you uh, Saturday morning in the live stream. Take care. Bye.